If you want to know the best thriller TV shows, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2010s. Hey. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. Homeland, 2011. Your picture was on our MIA wall. I saw it every day for five years. It's good to meet you in person. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sorry we were unable to find you sooner. Homeland is a spy thriller television series created by Howard Gordon and Alex Gansa. As one of the most memorable thriller shows of the decade, Homeland follows Carrie Matheson, a CIA officer with bipolar disorder, and Nicholas Brody, a U.S. Marine Corps scout sniper. When Carrie starts to worry about the mental and political state of Brody because he was held captive by Al-Qaeda terrorists, we must question the truth about his beliefs. Was he turned by the enemy and poses a threat to the United States? The point is, Sergeant Brody stopped being a source of actionable intelligence fairly quickly, and yet he was kept alive for almost eight more years. I'd like to ask him if he knows why. I often wondered that myself. Number 9. The Americans, 2013. Is this a joke? No. You want to betray our country? Well, after everything we've done, I don't think it's such a betrayal. The Americans is a period spy thriller television series created by Joe Weisberg. The title of this breathtaking and thrilling crime show may mislead, since the Americans are actually spies of the Soviet Union during the Cold War, who are sent to America. Depicting the ego conflicts between the most powerful and dangerous nations of the time, we witness both sides and both very human problems that the different agencies face while trying to serve under their respective governments. They will be American, and you can't stand that. I see it every day. I'm not finished with them yet. They don't have to be regular Americans. They can be socialists. They're not going to be, be socialists. This place doesn't activists. turn to, out to, socialists. Would, to, to, to know that it was all a lie, they would never speak to us again, Philip. Number 8. Cannibal 2013. This cannibal you have him getting to know. I think I can help Goodwill see his face. Hannibal is a psychological horror thriller television series created by Brian Fuller. Following the title character who got famous through The Silence of the Lambs, his attempt of exploring the psychology of the character revolves around a modern setting with a Hannibal who is still unseen by the government, free and murdering around. When mentally sick Will, a detective agent, meets the psychiatrist Hannibal without knowing his deadly passion, a dangerous yet fascinatingly put-to-film friendship rises. I'm sorry, Will. Observing is what we do. I can't shut mine off any more than you can shut yours off. Please, don't psychoanalyze me. You won't like me when I'm psychoanalyzed. Will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go give a lecture on psychoanalyzing. Number 7. Money Heist, 2017. No me jodas, Berlín, que esto no es una película de Tarantino, eh? Baja el arma. Baja el arma. Money Heist is a heist drama television series created by Alex Pina. A pile of cash, a perfect plan, and a strange crew of robbers who want to barricade themselves in a money production fabric. But soon they make a frightening discovery. The plan was never perfect, and the only reason being the flaws of the crew members. When love and hate collide, the team is facing an army of enemies locked in the house of money. Vamos a ver, vamos a tranquilizarnos todos y a bajar todas las armas. Berlin, Denver, todos. Vosotros también, díselo a tu primo, venga. Ume, ¿cómo es la puta? Pobis, ven, mami, soy nieve. Estoy harto de tus órdenes y de tus discursitos de mierda. Te digo yo que el lado de la balanza pesa más, te lo digo yo. Number six. Mindhunter, 2017. You see Bill. I knew a week before she died I was going to kill her. Mindhunter is a crime thriller television series created by Joe Pinal. Serial killers are as interesting as they are frightening, and both are caused by one fact. We don't understand their minds. Solving the riddles of the mentally ill remains a big challenge for law enforcement. This is why a team of FBI agents working for the Behavioral Science Unit try new strategies in hunting down modern psychopaths by interviewing already imprisoned ones. But finding answers is not easy. Not in a world of violence and darkness. There's one thing I know, it's this. 
mother should not scorn her own son. If a woman humiliates her little boy, he will become hostile and violent and debased. Period. Number five. Mr. Robot, 2015. I started intercepting all the traffic on your network. That's when I noticed something strange. That's when I decided to hack you. Mr. Robot is a drama thriller television series created by Sam Esmail. It is incredible what capabilities the 21st century has brought us. And some of them are easy to misuse. Just like for hacker talent, Elliot Alderson, a cybersecurity engineer and hacker with social anxiety disorder and clinical depression. After being recruited by an insurrectionary anarchist known as Mr. Robot, he joins a hacktivist group called F Society. Now he has a clear goal destroy all debt records by encrypting financial data of e the largest conglomerate in the world. Wait, hold on. I'll give you the money. I'll pay you. How much do you want? I'll pay you. That's the part you were wrong about, Rohit. I don't give a shit about money. Number 4. Stranger Things 2016. Use your powers, okay? Idiot. She's not a dog. Boys, time for school. Stranger Things is a supernatural drama television series created by the Duffer Brothers. This love letter to good old 80s horror adventure film follows a group of young nerdy friends. But when one of them goes missing without a trace, the boys' worlds will make a literal 180-degree turn. A story about beasts from parallel dimensions, people with superhuman abilities, and mysteries that are about to be lifted are what makes Stranger Things so suspenseful, along with charismatic characters that try to maintain the world as they know it. Number 3 Black Mirror, 2011. I love you. Is the tear too much? You fucking sociopath. Black Mirror is a British science fiction anthology television series created by Charlie Brooker. Set in a world only minutes from our own, it examines modern society, particularly with regard to the unanticipated consequences of new technology. It unveils how technologies can backfire and be used against their makers. Every episode is set in an alternative present or the near future, with different characters combating different types of technology, often with a dark and satirical tone, although some are more experimental and lighter. See you tomorrow, JJ. See you, Lacey. <laughs> oh, saw your boy in the fire hat just now. So cute. Yeah, he's really something. <laughs> Number two. Dark, 2017. Ich glaube, ich habe gerade ein Déjà-vu. Das Licht, der Wald, als ob das alles schon mal passiert ist. Dark is a sci-fi thriller television series created by Baron Bo Odar and John J. Fries. Children start vanishing from the German town of Winden, bringing to light the fractured relationships, double lives, and dark past of four families living there. Starting in 2019, the show often jumps in time to reveal more and more revelations that go further than our understanding. Deep, twisted, and breathtakingly suspenseful, Dark follows several damaged characters dealing with a tragic past, first and foremost the teen Jonas after his father's suicide. Ein Fehler in der Matrix. Was? Wenn die Welt eine Simulation ist, dann ist ein Déjà-vu ein Fehler in der Matrix. Oder eine Botschaft aus dem Jenseits. Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. When I first heard that, I thought that's evil at its most pure, something that drags you in, crushes you, makes you nothing. I love to talk about nothing. It's the only thing I know anything about. Don't you believe in evil? Why, Bill? He was slowing you down. Oh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Slow down, Sharp. What do you want, cop? You're gonna tell me about Proctor's ecstasy operation. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay. Oh! Let me get you started. Number one. 
Fargo, 2014. You okay, Lester? You seem a bit, seem a bit jumpy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, you know, um, Earl is going to be home soon. and um, <clears throat> Fargo is a black comedy, crime, drama, anthology television series created by Noah Hawley. Being an anthology series, Fargo always focuses on rather idiotic people stuck in a dull and unexciting life. But out of a perfect mixture of greed, bad coincidences, and, more or less, accidents, they go down a pipeline of shit, stumbling into the worst criminal undergrounds, meeting the most absurd assassins, or planning the greatest scams. And it all happens in towns where you wouldn't expect anything to happen at all. I need you to get down on the ground. Second Lester, on the ground. Now, hold on. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't go down there. Don't. There's nothing down. That's not. I didn't do nothing. I didn't. I just got home. I just got home. There, there's nothing down there. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.